So right after the launch of Soundcore's new Space Series headphones and earbuds, now we are seeing another new release from Soundcore which is the Sleep A10. A pretty innovative earbuds to help you with sleeping at night. And there are many earbuds like this in the market, for example the Bose Sleeps Buds or the Amazfit Zen uh, buds that we have here but they all have one major problem and they don't play music over bluetooth but the sound call version definitely changed that so that's pretty cool so these earbuds today were sent over to me by sound call for review and although these were sent over to me no money has actually changed hands and this review is based on my honest and unbiased opinion the sleep a10 comes in at 179 us dollar or about 810 malaysia ringgit and with that price you definitely can get earbuds like the liberty 3 pro at its launch price or maybe two of the Live P3 that we've previously checked out. But in a space of sleep earbuds, this is priced pretty competitively than its Bose and Amazfit counterpart. So let's see if this is worth the money. And if you're interested in buying these earbuds, do check out my links in the description below. So the design and build of the Sleep A10, just like every other Soundcore product, they are very well built with great materials and everything just feels solidly built with no compromise. So at the top of the case, you're going to get the infamous Soundcore logo in a nice mirror finish. And the case is made of a pearl white color, which if you shine it in the light, you do see it pearlescence a little bit, uh, which is a very nice look. And somehow all of these slip buds are all made with white color. Perhaps white is a symbol of Zen and bliss, I guess. So the case itself is very basic with a type c charging port at the back to charge it up and there's also a button at the side here and if you press it it will light up the three leds at the front here to tell you the battery percentage of the case so despite the bottom of the case being flat and nice and has this puck shaped design there's no wireless charging found on this earbud so you won't be able to use that conveniently so like the liberty 3 pro what you're going to get here is a slide up lid the lid is extremely smooth and it doesn't wobble zero wobble which is essentially the quality of sound core that you know they always have because if you have experienced other brands with a wobbly sliding lid you know how critical this feature is and inside here you're gonna see the slip buds itself and they are very tiny and has a very soft build overall so there are a couple of components that make this uh, noise masking technology that Soundcore markets it with. And do note that these are not noise cancelling earphones, but noise masking. So the first part of the noise masking system is the wingtips. So where you can remove the entire wingtip and change it to a different size so that it fits and seals very nicely. So I can just take them off. So here you can see that I've removed the, the wingtip here and you can change it to the different sizes that Soundcore gives you. Uh, and inside here, you're gonna get a pretty nice looking earbuds, which is super tiny. And the second part is the ear tips, because what you're getting here is a twin seal ear tip to help mask out even more noise. And you can see if I were to fold this out, you can see that it's actually a twin seal design. So this one goes in and this one further seals your ear with it. So this is a very nice design. And lastly, the third part of this is the algorithm that listens to external noises to adjust the masking volume to give you a silent sleep. So from a comfort perspective, you know it's annoying to sleep in most ear buds where they push against your ears and when you turn around it pushes against the pillow and push into your ear but with the a10 it feels really comfortable and because of the entire build that is very soft it feels really nice to sleep in tossing and turning doesn't really affect the comfort and it's still there when i wake up in the morning honestly this replaces the earbuds that i use on my nightstand definitely no doubt about that but this isn't something very new or innovative and what i have here is the amazfit zen buds and you can see that it is also very soft and also very small and has a very smooth rubber design uh, the only thing that this thing doesn't do is play music so in terms of battery life the a10 gives you about six hours of continuous playback if you are in music mode and if you switch it to sleep mode it gives you about 10 hours of use so the good thing about this is that the earbuds intelligently monitors it to see if you have fallen asleep and switches over to sleep mode to give you the zen noise to help you sleep better so the case gives you about 41 hours of juice so depending on which mode you use your earbuds the most you get to charge them different amounts of times so in my my experience while using this uh, earbuds before sleeping so i use it about one or two hours before sleeping watching videos listening to music and then putting it uh, into sleep mode to go to bed uh, when i wake up the next morning i check the app and the battery is red so i don't know what percentage because the soundcore app doesn't tell you the percentage but it's red and uh, pretty close to not having it run the whole night 
So personally, a comfortable listening volume for me starts at around 45%. And again, these earbuds are not your typical loud earbuds since that's not what they are focusing on. But it still gives you that pretty decent sound. A loud volume starts at about 90% for me and I can still listen to them at this level. And they definitely sound really good at that volume. And 100% is too loud for me and the gap between loud and too loud is really small. So with this model, you really need to know what you're getting into because unlike the Liberty 3 Pro where you're going to get it at a cheaper price with great high-res codecs and everything, you're only getting a Bluetooth 5.2 here with AAC and SBC support. Again, audio playing is not the key emphasis of this earbuds. So the earbuds is also IPX4 rated so you can use them with no issue even in the gym and, all, and everything like that but they are not waterproof so best to not use them under the rain or soak them in water. The earbuds also comes with a regular dynamic driver which is unique in an earbuds like this since there isn't a lot of space. The competitors generally use balanced armature driver and this is the same for the Bose as well as the Amazfit. Uh, this is basically to save space so that they can make it smaller but in the case of the sound core you're getting a full dynamic driver for superior audio quality. So the earbuds also comes with a seamless left and right playback so you can use either one of this and use it uh, with your earbuds but I do want to point out one thing I'm not too sure whether this is my copy or is it the beta version of this firmware because I don't get any new firmware updates so far uh, but I do notice that there's quite a bit of connection dropping uh, with this firmware uh, so I can hear sometimes the left goes off sometimes the right goes off sometimes it's get choppy and the latency on this is also pretty bad for uh, videos I'm not too sure if it's just the firmware uh, but I believe uh, Soundcore can very easily uh, address that with their firmware update. And with most of its competition, like the Bose Sleep Buds and Amazfit Zen Buds, they don't play music over Bluetooth. So you just use the app to play sleep music and that's pretty much it. But the Soundcore A10 works like a regular earbuds, so that's already an advantage over its competition. So I really like that feature. And one more thing to note is that these Sleep Buds is that they don't come with any microphone, so you won't be able to use them for phone calls. Finally, there is no multi-point connectivity with these earbuds. So this is not the first Soundcore app to feature a sleep mode and the Life P3 was one of the earbuds that had this feature. However, the earbuds itself with the stem, like the P3, is not so suitable for sleeping in since it's so much larger and not as comfortable to lie on. But the home picture of the app, you're going to see your earbuds and below that, you're going to get the battery level. Uh, again, with Soundcore, you don't get a percentage, just a battery level. And under music mode, you're going to get a feature called fast sleep. So when you click on this one, it goes into uh, playing the different types of sounds to help you go to bed so this is to help you fall asleep faster uh, so there's a lot of white noises here like water wind and rain and there's quite a lot that you download so you go into sleep music you can change uh, what is your favorite sound and clicking into any one of this you can choose what you like uh, but I noticed that every time you click on something it needs to push it to your phone so for example if I want birds and I click here it says oh it takes 40 seconds to push it to the earbuds so it's like downloading it offline into the earbuds and it takes quite a while about 40 seconds so you do have to wait uh, so you pick the ones that you like and then you send it over to your earbuds and under the music mode, you're also going to get an equalizer. So if you click here, this is pretty much your standard uh, equalizer that you get with Soundcore. So inside here, you get your Soundcore signature with the bass up option. And at the bottom here, you're going to get quite a bit of uh, EQs to choose from. And at the bottom here, if you go into custom, you can customize your EQ in the 8-band EQ that you have here. Uh, next to that, you're also going to get to control or remap the controls. And here it's pretty limited. You only get to choose the double tap feature uh, which on the left side it's default to switch mode which switch between uh, music mode and sleep mode uh, and for double tapping you're going to get play or pause inside you're going to be able to choose all of this stuff so if this is something that you like then you can choose and set it accordingly but here what you can do is to choose the different controls between music mode and sleep mode so you can customize it that way. So under sleep mode, this is where you're going to get to adjust your earbuds volume. So this is how loud uh, the sleep sounds that you're playing uh, and you can just adjust them accordingly. And at the bottom here, you're going to have adaptive noise reduction. So if you're living in the city, for example, and there's ambulance sound at night or you have a partner that snores, uh, you can turn on adaptive noise reduction, which it will adjust the volume according to your environmental sound. 
uh, which is a pretty nice feature. I don't really get to try this because I don't live in a city. I think that's a pretty nice feature to have. And at the bottom here, you also get sleep data, which is pretty cool. And uh, it works with most of the other brands as well. They do have sleep data. Uh, so here, what you get to do is also to uh, check your sleep, total sleep. Uh, but I do notice that this isn't that accurate because uh, you can see that at certain points at night, I wasn't even sleeping yet and it thinks that I'm sleeping because I'm lying down watching movies. Uh, but it detects that I'm sleeping and then after that, uh, it just continues to track until I wake up. So that's pretty nice. Again here, you're going to get your controls, which is the same thing. And if you notice at the top here, there's a settings button and in sleep mode and music mode, you do get different uh, settings. So if I go into the sleep mode one, you can see it's pretty simple. You get an alarm clock, which sounds like a uh, 80s uh, old Casio digital watch alarm, like dee -dee 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 -dee, very soft in your ears. Uh, but that's how it sounds like. And you're also going to get your quick start guide. And if you go into music mode, the settings is different. So inside here, you can see you can turn on the smart switch, which uh, you can listen to your music. And if it detects that you fall asleep, it will just switch over to sleep mode. Uh, you also get to adjust the prompt tone, the sleep reminder, alarm clock, and also update the firmware. Uh, but as of now, uh, I don't have a new firmware to update. So that's pretty much all the features you get with the Sleep A10. So the sound signature here with the A10 is good, but nothing mind-blowing. Again, these are not made specifically for sound quality as its main selling point, but then they don't sound bad at all. You still get that nice sound core tuning and sound quality. So based on this earbud comes out slightly higher on the volume scale. At lower volumes, you get a hint of bass, but they are not too strong, rumbling or punchy. And at louder volumes, they do get better. But I believe it won't satisfy most bass hits. And do take note that this is also with the bass up already turned on. So these earbuds excel more to Towards the mid range and highs of the spectrum, and with those frequencies, they perform exceptionally well. And vocals on this sound extremely precise and clear, with some songs driving goosebumps up your hands. And the highs here is also very crisp and not messy, providing you with a really nice, clean, distortion free experience. And overall, a pretty good sounding earbud, but this is not going to be comparable with the Live P3 or the Liberty Tree Pro. So I'm not going to talk about the latency too much, but uh, because I don't think this is the latest firmware and they can still tweak it a little bit. The latency on these earbuds is pretty minimal and you do get some lag here and there with playing games like PUBG. Again, it's not perfect, but if you casually game with this, I think it's fine. Uh, but for me, watching videos on Netflix and YouTube, I do hear quite a bit of lag. Uh, and the voice and mouth doesn't really sing that well. And I do get that drop connection uh, very frequently, not just occasionally, but very frequently. So I believe that's just a firmware thing that they can fix. Uh, again, this is still in beta testing as of this recording, right? So that's pretty much the latency you get with these earbuds. So at the end of the day, I think these earbuds are going to have a very niche market of buyers. Uh, unless you really want to go to bed with it uh, comfortably, or you are already in the market to buy the Bose Sleep Buds or the Amaze Fit Sand Buds, uh, then this will be a good buy. Else, I do think at this price point, it's quite difficult to justify and you're better off buying a proper ANC earbuds like the Liberty 3 Pro. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash the thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.